real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Donna Hall says the defendant is her cousin, and he often asks to use Donna's house to cheat on his girlfriend. Donna claims the defendant asked for money so he could go to the strip clubs, and she's suing him today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Marshall Miller says the real reason they're in court is because Donna has a gambling problem and she needs help. Marshall claims he's done a lot for Donna over the years and therefore refuses to repay her. All right, let me know what's happening here. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to tell you, my mom wants me to tell you hi and she loves you. <laughs> and she right. watches you every night at 9 o'clock. She lives in Mississippi. And right. she says, uh, your court officer, he is so handsome. <laughs> all the ladies say that. <laughs> Tell her I said thank you. Okay, but I just want to give you, you first and foremost. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down there tonight. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Okay, I just want to give you a little insight on my cousin. First of all, Marsha, mm -hmm. he's my first cousin. We're brother and sister's kids, and he's okay guy. He don't get high, but he smoke weed, and he like to go to the strip club. What does his weed? What, a, <laughs> what effect does his weed have on you? It has an effect on me because he be calling no, me. No, 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 on him. Because he, he said he me. doesn't get high. He, he, yeah, he get high. Okay. No, Good enough. Yeah. He get high. He say it don't Boy. get him high, but he be high. But, you know, he would call me in the middle of the night, you know, and he would say, cuz, uh, what you doing? Marsh, I'm in the bed. Uh, can I come over? I got a female. Okay, he bring a girl to my house, but I know he got a girlfriend. So I'm like, okay. And then just one particular day, his girlfriend, his real girlfriend called me. She say, uh, hey, cuz, you seen Marshall? I say, yeah, he over here with another girl. Oh, I know you didn't do that. Yes, I did. I mean, cuz she Man. know I'm not gonna lie and I really like her. She didn't ask you all that. <laughs> she asked me, where was he at? She asked me, have I seen him? Right, and I told but she her, didn't yeah. ask you about whether he was there with another girl. I wanted her to know because I was tired and I didn't want to tell I didn't want to put him out, but if I tell her he he was there with another girl, she would come over, then I know he would leave. You're gonna ruin the man's relationship. So what she did, she bammed on my door, he ran upstairs, and him and the him and the girl both ran out the back door. Marshall got more problems in the math book. I'm telling you. He 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 do. <laughs> He always cuz, uh, what you doing? Marsh, I'm in the bed. When I want to hang with my guys, you know, go to the strip club. Marsha, come on, I mean, grow so up. So what are you calling you about the strip club? What is it he calling you He wants some for? money. Oh, okay. He want to borrow some money or he oh. want to use my car because oh. his girlfriend know where he hang out at. Okay. And he don't want his car to be seen. To be seen. Right. Marsha, he's my first cousin. We're brother and sister's kids. And he's okay guy. He don't get high, but he smoke weed. And he likes to go to the strip club. What does his weed... What, a, <laughs> what effect does his weed have on you? Plaintiff Donna Hall is suing her cousin, who claims Donna has a severe gambling addiction. All right, we're going to get into the loan you're suing him about shortly. Him, let me allow him to give some background, sir. Yes, Your Honor. The reason why we're here today, because I think she needs help. She has a problem. Hey, what's her she, problem? <laughs> she got a gambling problem, Your Honor. A gambling addiction. But I have a job, yeah. though. I can support my habit. I'm it's cool. just like if she get... <laughs> I have a job. It's like if she get paid twice a week, she had to boat twice a week. But that's okay. I don't have any kids at home. We here because she have a problem. She's trying to get help. She wants you to get her help. Oh, my oh God. okay. All right. Oh, that's my why God. We, well, I'm going to order her to rehab. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah. If if she rehab, admits. Ma'am, didn't you say you go all the time? I go because I want to go. How, I choose how to go. How often I don't do have you go. go? I go about twice a week. You're addicted. I'm no, sending you to a, rehab. You ordered to go to rehab. <laughs> That's not an addiction. You're going to rehab. That's what I like to do. You're going to rehab. I go to work every... <laughs> Your Honor, I have, two, I have two kids. They grown. They're 27 years old. For my, 20, my, my youngest son, for his 20th birthday, you know what I gave him? What? Some boxes. When he woke up, it was some boxes right in front of the door. Mom, what's this? <laughs> boxes. It's time to go. It's my time now. That's a good idea. I go idea. to work. Yeah. I come home. I watch Judge Maps. I watch <laughs> Judge Judy. And I like my reality shows, uh, the Kardashians or whatever. <laughs> you know? But if I say, right. you know what, I feel like going to the casino or taking That's myself right. to Red Lobster. It. Now, what you say? Let's back up. How you get rid of these kids out your pocket? You it's just had the go. box? You, you gotta go. Put... I gave him boxes. My father works okay. for a box company. <laughs> so I told him to bring a lot of boxes home. And that worked? Yeah, it did. You got any more boxes laying around? I sure do. 
Y'all yeah, got four of them. I changed my lock when they put Change the key the in. Change the locks and get the boxes. Go. All right. And then I can just gamble all I want. If that's what you choose to do. All if right. that's what you choose to do. What loans are you suing him for? Your Honor, June two, uh, 2010. He said, I want to get my own apartment. OK, because I need to borrow $1,500. Not a problem. I've, you know, given him things before. You know, I can get him to do anything for me. Cuz, I'm gonna give your money back when I get my income tax. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Well, you don't watch Judge Mathers like you say. <laughs> okay. You so, know that. tax and come. Oh, man, cuz, the IRS took my money for a student loan. Marshall, when was you last in school? <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, no, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to you, okay. Then, months later, he called me. I'm thinking, okay, he called me finna give me some of my money. His job moved out of town, laid him off. Now, if he been on his job for years, which he have, when your job relocate like that, if you decide not to go, they're gonna give you a nice severance, you know. Not all jobs, no. Well, mm -mm. Uh, Some jobs are taken over by companies. They will and give them those something. companies, no, that's not always the case. They strip the people of their pensions, of their lifetime health care, and make uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in profit. So we don't know if that's the case. Okay. There are a lot of uh, well, he these told companies me they did. that do that. So the bottom line is he has not paid you. He has not paid me, but All right. can I say something? Mm -hmm. So he was getting his unemployment. So he was supposed to start paying me. But he me has in. not paid you. That's what I'm he asking. He paid me nothing. Okay, sir. I don't owe him nothing, y'all. I don't think I owe her nothing. You don't think? Did I... you ever borrow the money? Yes, I borrowed the money. Yes. So why don't you think you owe her? You paid her? No. Much as I have done for Donna. I got a note, y'all. Gave Donna. Donna. Let's see. I got it, a promise. I should, I, I, it, it, mm -hmm. She may owe me money, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't sue her for the little money she okay, owed me. Okay, but she's suing you. <laughs> And you yes, agree that you owe her? Cuz, I need to borrow $1,500. Not a problem. Cuz, I'm gonna give your money back when I get my income tax. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Well, you don't watch Judge Mathers like you say. <laughs> okay. Plaintiff Donna Hall is suing her cousin, who claims Donna has a severe gambling addiction. And she hands me a note that says, 1500 of security deposit in the first month, and he promised to pay me back when he gets his income taxes, and it has your signature. Let me, can I say that, Yana? Because, I, I mean, I don't remember signing no papers, because when, when we exchange money, we don't... But you just said you owe her, and you don't think you should have to pay her because all the things you did for her. Right. All but, the things I did, she should be owing me some money. All right, well, what then you, you didn't sue her, though. But what I, do you do I, for I, me? I want to see my cousin. I all right, see, well, I want she's suing like you. How <laughs> much has I done for her? We don't went on a trip. What have you done she for me? She don't lost all her money. She, she didn't have no way back home, Did she say thank you? She, yeah, she said thank you. Well, then that's what you want. If you did it for her and she didn't agree to pay you back and you got a thank you, then she's a very upstanding yes. woman. I, I, Your Honor, I just told you... Judgment for the plaintiff, $1,500. Have a good day. <laughs> you need to grow up. Be a man, grow up. All that party and stuff, it's time out for that. You're getting too old for that. I still love you, but you need to grow up. And stop always looking for somebody to give you something. Get your own. Cause I ain't think I owe you no money. Much Why as I've done for you. What? You go to Mississippi, you so don't what? have no money. So don't I, if I, I the lost car, my, if it I don't lost, matter. If I lost my money, both have we got It home. don't matter. If you loan me some money and I say no, I'm gonna pay you your money. Cause I love you. I love you too, but still grow up.